hey everybody, it's Scott Omato. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to manually install Forge in the Twitch launcher to get over the error of this file, the specified file cannot be found, okay? So let's create a custom profile here in the Twitch launcher, and we're gonna make a profile for 115.2, all right? And I'll just name it, you know, Forge 115.2, doesn't matter what you name it. I'm gonna choose the latest Forge version here from the drop down, all right? And if I select create, then it's gonna act like it's installing Forge, but it won't, cause it's gonna get this, the system cannot find the file specified. Very annoying. Forge has changed its install process to where it has to build on your computer, and that is not working uh, in Twitch in some installs of Forge, all right? So what you have to do is you have to get the version manually from the Forge site. So let's look and see which one we wanna get for this particular one. We're going to get Forge 31.1.27. Okay, so we need to go to the Minecraft Forge site. Only get it from there, minecraftforge.net. I will give you a link in the description. Only get it from there. And so we'll download the latest, which is that version, all right? And so we want to download the installer, all right? So get the installer. It'll go through an ad. It goes to the ad focus ad server. If you have a uh, pop a ad blocker, you won't see the ad, but wait till it says skip here in the top right hand corner, then skip it and it will download your file. All right. And then go ahead and get away from the ad focus so it doesn't redirect to you. Now at the bottom here, it'll say this type of file can harm your computer. Do you want to keep it? It does that on all Java jars. So that's okay. We're getting it from a good site. Keep it. All right. And it'll download to your disk. All right. So once you have that on your disk, uh, then you'll want to go to your downloads folder, the location where it's downloaded, and you will see it uh, right here. Here's the installer, all right? So you want to double click on that to open it and then do whatever it needs to do. I don't need to let it through Windows uh, Defender because it is signed. And we're gonna say install client. All right, we're doing a client install here, but we want to select the location with these three dots. It's the more button, all right? We wanna to go to our documents folder, all right? And mine is named curse because I've been using the browser for a long time, but yours might be named, let me get down to it. My scroll wheel. My folder is named Curse. Yours might be named Twitch. Okay, it's either Twitch or Curse. Choose the Minecraft folder inside of that. Choose the install folder. All right, and select that. So be, be sure that's the path that's selected that it says install on the end of the path right there. All right, and then we're going to say OK. Now it will manually go through and install and build. You can see that Forge is doing a building process and all that that's new as of the 113.2 installs of Forge, all right? So it's got to go through and build. All this stuff takes a little bit longer to do. Uh, and Twitch is apparently not working to do that right now, all right? So it's going to tell you what it needs to do. It's remapping and all that kind of stuff, all right? So let it happen. It takes a few minutes to do, and uh, I'll talk you through it. Now, while it's doing that, which it's basically done now, so we'll just go ahead and continue with that, but I'm gonna mention how to get the Forge version from a mod pack if you're installing. Now we're choosing manually our Forge version here. Again, just be sure that it's the version you're gonna select in your profile. So it in successfully installed the client profile Forge version into the launcher, all right? So hit okay. Now we can go back to Twitch and we can create our profile. So create a custom profile, do the same things, Forge, whatever you want to name it. Uh, you know, I'll just do one Forge 115.2 and select your version of 115.2 and be sure and select that same version that you just installed. Now hit create. Now it goes through and creates it fine. All right. So when we launch, it will launch with the Forge version in the native launcher if you have that or if you have the jar launcher to do the same thing. All right, so it will go through and launch. Now, while that is launching and you can see Forge is loading and all that, so it fixes that error. Now, let me tell you about what to do if you have a mod pack, all right? So let's say that we're getting a mod pack on CurseForge, really only get your mod packs from CurseForge. Let's say we're getting all the mods five, all right? So 
here's the page the basic page for all the mods five all right on the description there right there and we want to go to the files tab all right we need to download the mod pack manually uh, let me go ahead and get this guy uh, once it launches okay we need to go to the file section and we need to go down to where we can download the file so keep going down under recent files select the newest one or the one that you want and click on it all right until it goes to another page and then select download for that the download button right here all right select download so that will go into your downloads folder so i have it on the disk right here uh, this is the zip file that it downloads all right you're going to want to extract that zip file so you select it and you can hit the extract button up here extract all and it will all right let me uh i got my minecraft launch i've got the forge version let me turn down the music okay so i have that installed for forge so that fixes it for our forge version now we're going to again determine the forge version for the all the mods mod pack so once you've extracted it you're going to have a folder here all right on your disk and inside that folder there's going to be a file called manifest.json now you need to have something assigned to a json editor uh it could be notepad plus plus you know edit with notepad plus plus or whatever i have it assigned to brackets that's fine so if i double click on it uh, it will open and again you may need to assign uh, something to open it but once it opens you will see that there is a uh, id for the forge for the mod loader it's going to tell you which forge version you need so you need forge 3127 for that mod pack okay and that is what we have that's what we installed 3127 so we don't have to do anything more than that if it is a different forge version than what you've installed then you need to again go back to minecraft.forge site and download the version you want you can select it along the side here for 115.2 you could use show all versions here at the bottom and select from the list the version that you need to install and then go through those same processes okay so it's kind of annoying that we have to do it manually uh, but that's the state that we're in right now so guys that's how you install forge manually in the twitch launcher uh, so that it will work with the newest versions hope that was helpful to you if so please leave a like guys leave some comments and do subscribe to the channel for more content anyway this is scott omato thanks so much for watching guys i'll see you in the next one have a great day bye bye